Today we are checking out this Ancel FX3000 Elite budget scanner that offers ABS, SRS and transmission diagnostics with free lifetime Wi-Fi updates. Is it fast and easy to use? And is it worth your money? Well, let's check it out. Overall, the scanner is fairly simple when it comes to software as well as the hardware. Even looking on the outside, it's pretty plasticky plastic. There's not really that much to it, but it does work as expected and it is comfortable in your hand as it does have these nice little divots for your fingers to hold on to. And we do have a USB port here at the bottom. But as far as the software, there are some interesting features. Let's quickly go over some of the simpler stuff like the settings and then we'll jump right into the diagnostics. So in the settings, you can change the language, well, just a few different languages in here if that makes any difference for you. We have a few different units. So we have Imperial or Metric. You can turn on a beep, you have a log, test the screen and you can test the buttons as well. We can also update this device. I have connected to the Wi-Fi and tried to update, but mine came already fully up to date, which is great to see. And speaking of great to see, it's great to see that this supports over 73 different car brands, so it should cover most vehicles. Now, the next two options, we have OBD2. This is gonna be the standard OBD2 functionality. I'll jump into this later on uh, just to show you what it is, but if you've had an OBD2 scanner, that's what it can do, basically. What makes this different is that you have diagnose option right here on the left. So let's click into that, and you can see all the cars that it supports. So here are all the American cars. Here are all the European ones. So quite a few, as you can see, Chinese, there it is, Asian. So most vehicles, especially the ones you find in US, will definitely be in here. Now we're gonna go to European and select BMW because that's what I am in. And we're gonna let it load. As you can see, it doesn't take very long to load, so that's pretty good. And I do like the physical buttons on here so you don't get your screen dirty. Here you have two options, automatic selection and manual selection. Automatic selection does not work on this car. Not really sure why, but it does not work on a 2020 BMW X7. It's a pretty obscure car as far as BMWs, but yes, it doesn't work, so I have to go through manual selection. We can then go to X series G07. There's G07. This is a this one right here, B58 Auto, and it's gonna be a US car, of course. Now we're gonna scroll down to the production year. I believe it's somewhere around there. So that should be just fine. Now we're gonna click OK. Now it's just going to communicate with the ECU and it doesn't take very long. And then we are presented with two more options, quick test and system selection. So similarly, we can go into each uh, system and then select the modules that are available for that system. So just like that, you can see all of them that are here. Or we can do quick test and what this will do is it will find all of the modules that this scanner supports on this vehicle. To be very, very clear, the scanner does not support full system diagnostics. It can only scan modules and systems within the ABS, SRS, and transmission systems. Of course, the engine module is included in this as well. So technically, it's a four system scanner. Now this first one, the DME, the digital motor electronic, which is the engine one does have a DTC. So it'll be interesting to see what it actually shows because, well, I'm not aware of it. But let's click on the report before we do any of those. So we're going to click on report. That generates a quick report for us that shows exactly what is happening right here. And it includes the code for each module. And of course, we can go in and hit print, which I believe will basically save a PDF, which you can then connect to the to your laptop and print. It does not have uh, printing functionality, obviously, that you can connect directly to a uh, to a printer. Uh, we also have quick erase, so it will go to each of the modules in here and erase the code and rescan it. But before we can do that, let's go into the module and see what we can actually see. So here we can go to read DTCs and we'll see that fault code that was in the report. So we kind of spoiled it for us already, but let's see, reading the fault codes that does take a while for some reason. These, that should be much quicker in my opinion. But yeah, here we can see the actual code. We can go back and we can clear this code. So yes, I'm going to go and clear it. Let's see how long that takes. I'm not gonna fast forward. That's much quicker actually. And if we read it again, let's see if it comes back, if it's a permanent code or if it's not a permanent, see there's no more code. So that means it is not a permanent code that was in it, which is good for me. Anyway, the fourth option here is data list, which will find all of the 
PID is basically all of the data points for the specific module, which is very, very important here. That means that you can see module specific live data through this scanner. Most scanners that are not system specific scanners and only an OBD2 scanner will not have this information. So that's kind of the big distinction between this scanner and a less expensive, you know, like $40, $50 scanner. Once everything loads, we have a list of 52 data points which we can go in and we'll see each one of them if we want to. For example, we can press OK and start seeing live data for all of them. So pretty cool, as you can see, you can just scroll through and have all of that information just right there. So if I, you know, open up the throttle a little bit, all these values are gonna change. You know, you have the air temperature and, you know, everything that you can imagine, but you can also graph this stuff. So that's great to see. This can only graph up to two graphs at a time. So, you know, something to consider, but still. So if we go to, engine speed and air mass so that's going to give us a little bit of uh, information and then we can graph both of them once it starts loading we can scroll the graph up or down and we can also zoom in or zoom out so if i'm going to rev the engine let's see how long it takes for it to respond there it is so there is about a two second delay or so but it does seem to work pretty well. All right, so that was the engine module, but let's see what we can find in the ABS module. So very similar data. We can go in, read the codes, reset those codes if there were any, which is great. So this will erase the codes in your ABS module, but we can also go into the data list and see the ABS live data. After a few seconds, we're presented with the list once again. So we have this live data for that module. We can go to general, for example. We can see the ASC status. We can see the status and the functionality of the anti log brake system, hill descent. I mean, there's tons. So each one's like a category. Uh, so if we can go back, for example, we can go to switches. So if you go to switch, we can have the auto hold LED switch or the brake pedal uh, switch. So for example, if I go into here and I'm gonna press the brake pedal right now, let's see, there you go, operator. So once again, it takes about two, maybe three seconds for it to react. Let's see, one, two, okay. So like one and a half, two seconds for it to actually respond to what's happening in the vehicle. But still, it's very cool to have for troubleshooting. What that means is that if you have an issue with a button or an issue with a switch or something, you can track it down here live, which is obviously a huge factor when you're troubleshooting. But yeah, here's all the categories that you can do just for this ABS uh, module. And of course, you can do the same for the other two modules as well. So for the scratch safety, which is the SRS or the transmission one, same stuff. Here's the data list, it's gonna scan it and then we'll see what the list is. This scan took quite a bit longer, but for a good reason. There's quite a few items in here. So just this first general list, look at all of this information that you can look up. Pretty crazy and very, very valuable. Look, and then each one drills down into more stuff. You can go through so many data points in here just for this one module. Of course, this is the safety module, so it's very important. You can go to ignition circuits. Look, every single one has so much information. And that's actually just categories in it, right? So if you're looking for very, very precise, like resistant values on a module, this is for you. Obviously the module then connects to the airbags and all the safety sensors and everything else. And this is what you can find in here. Very, very valuable. And of course you can do it for all the other categories as well. So jumping all the way back to the main menu, what do I think about this scanner? Well, I think it's great for those that work on different car brands and need to troubleshoot engine ABS, SRS, and transmission issues that are pretty in depth. Why? Well, because it goes really deep into those modules, but it does not go into any other modules. So if you own just one car, I would recommend getting a one vehicle make specific scanner that will go much wider, but only for that one vehicle. So that's something to consider. If you have a BMW, check out the list in the description for my favorites. One thing I wanted to quickly check out is OBD2. I will not be going at all in depth here. I just wanted to show you which kind of options you have in here. Of course, it's using the standard protocols. 
So it's just gonna communicate with the vehicle. We can go to engine, transmission, or a control unit. So it will pull the data into the OBD2 functionality from there. So this will tell you if we're gonna pass emissions, if the systems are ready. Uh, of course, you have your trouble code, system status, IM readiness, powertrain freeze data. So tons of really, really good and cool information but this is available on you know forty dollar scanner, so I'm not gonna be going very deep into this. And on that note, thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Like the video if you liked it. Leave your comments down below, and I'll see you in the next one.